over 40 years of engineering and designing, the luxury sedan from BMW just sets its tone because it's a everyday vehicle and it's a performer. Today, Phil and Tomas has given us the 2022 BMW 530i sedan in your Alpine white here at BMW of Wesley Chapel, part of the seventh generation, library quiet, room for the family, sporty interior and exterior styling, BMW performance and one of the most popular selling series of BMW with rivals like your Audi A6 and your Genesis G80. Will this be the competition or will it beat it? I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides and we're gonna go over all the specs and details starting now. BMW 530i is a long luxury sedan that incorporates all of those aerodynamics into the front with the active kidney grille, chrome surrounding it. You're gonna get the black polish on the exterior, matte black on the interior. And this is the iconic styling for BMW with your adaptive full LED headlamps and BMW laser. Gloss black is gonna be surrounding your side curtains. They're functional, matte black in the interior. You're gonna get the chrome strip here, black polish inside, and it gives a nice sporty element to the front fascia. You're gonna have your front parking sensors on width at 73.5 inches and a height at 58.2 inches. The curb weight is just a hair under 3,800 pounds. A long, flat, aerodynamic hood that's gonna stress that luxury with bold fenders that surround 18-inch multi-spoke alloy wheels. The disc reading at 13.7, ventilated in the front, 13.1 inches in the rear, also ventilated, a double wishbone, multi-link front suspension, multi-link rear suspension. You can have your dynamic traction control, weight distribution at 50.9 to 49.1, so nearly a 50-50 weight distribution when you're comparing this to Audi or Genesis, the dynamic structures and the dimensions is gonna be a little bit more aerodynamic and for the distribution, it's gonna actually be better with the functional side vents, chrome surrounding it, and you're gonna have that luxury on the side again with the chrome surrounding all of the window treatment. And I do like the fact that we have that because when we do BMW, especially on the 5 Series, we're always looking for the highest performance one, and it's nice to see that you can get a luxury one and you still get the performance to back it with the length at 195.8 inches. Wheelbase, 117.1 inches a more subtle aerodynamic line structures that go into your wraparound tail lights. You're gonna have a sportier rear bumper. You're gonna have your trapezoidal chromed out dual exhaust outlets with the black polish that's gonna come over the top. It's gonna be a matte black in between. So I do wish that they would have gave a little bit more of that sport heritage to the middle because of all that aerodynamic structure into the rear, it really does look more performance driven. You're gonna have your reverse parking sensors. The chrome is gonna enter the rear with your 530i badging. Power trunk going inside to your cargo at 10 cubic feet. Comparing it to Genesis or Audi, it's gonna be a tad bit less. You can fold the rear bench to a 40-20-40 split. There's some cargo cubbies on the side. You know what, this is a BMW twin power our turbo. Let's start it up and hear that exhaust note. The BMW 530i has all the proportion layouts and all the luxury that you would 
incorporate with the ultimate driving machine and BMW backs the performance with its 2.0 liter BMW twin power turbo inline four cylinder engine producing 248 horsepower and 257 pound feet of torque that's paired to an eight speed sport automatic transmission. You're gonna be achieving 25 to 33 MPGs. A zero to 60 is gonna be around 5.9 seconds with a top speed at 130 miles per hour. Getting that quarter mile around 13.8 seconds, which is gonna be quicker than the Genesis. The zero to 60 is gonna be a little bit similar to the Genesis and your Audi. There's gonna be a little bit more performance driven in those two, but the MSRP will also be about two to $5,000 more than the 530i. So just something to take into consideration because when the zero to 60s are that close or right at the same numbers, I don't know, to me it's better that you save a couple thousand dollars and you still get the styling cues, you get that sport performance and the luxury all in one. Let me know in the comments what you think about the 2022 BMW 530i sedan as we go into the interior. Go over the tech and take this for our test. Entering inside the BMW 530i sedan, you're gonna get 40.7 inches of headroom, 41.4 inches of legroom, camera, beige, perforated Sensatec seating, 16-way power adjustments with manual cushion extensions. They're heated front seats as well. You're gonna receive that fine line ridge wood trim throughout the dash and in the center console with that metal look around it. It just gives a sporty emphasis to the interior. And the best part is you got a 12.3 inch touchscreen with your navigation. So you have the gesture, you also have the pinch and the swipe this has your Apple CarPlay, your Android Auto, click it to your app, Sirius XM, Bluetooth connectivity, click that over for your installed app so that way you can see all the apps that we have in the vehicle. You also have your M-Lap timer, which is nice. You can start recording it. This is not necessarily derived for a track, so just keep that in mind, but it is still a pretty quick vehicle. You're gonna switch it to reverse. You do have your reverse camera with full trajectory, your front and rear sensors. You can change the camera image or the settings. You can also click onto the side where you would only see your parking sensors and it would still show you your trajectory. Click back into your navigation with the upgraded Harman Kardon sound system. Normally it's a 205 watt with 12 speakers is what's standard. Dual climate control settings, cup holders. You can easily fit out say a 20 ounce water bottle, 16.9 ounce water bottle, an area to store your phone and 12 volt. In this center here, you have your iDrive 7, in the center here, you got your rotary knob that will control everything for the infotainment or you could use the touch or your voice recognitions. You do have your driving mode select here and the gear lever, it's BMW spec. So you're gonna expect the way that it is. Open up in here and you're gonna have another USB port and a little bit of storage. As for the elbows, it's gonna be more sport derived. Looking at that three spoke leather wrap steering wheel, multi-function with the paddle shifters, digital, gauge cluster that's a 12.3 you can change it with a sport mode it'll change the way it looks a little bit more aggressive the comfort a little bit less and then your eco will pretty much take that tachometer off so that way it will coach you how to get optimal gas consumption and i do like the fact that we have all this amenities because at the end of the day this is still a family sports sedan heads up display as for the door panel harder materials on the top with that wood inlays and that silver look memory seats for the driver one touch up and down for all the windows they're non-dual pane you have your power sunshade for the rear storage, you would be able to fit maybe two or three 16.9 ounce bottles. So it is pretty efficient for the most part and it's still sporty. You have your power sunshade for your moonroof. You know, family sedan, let's check out that back seat. For the back seat, headroom isn't an issue for someone tall like me, I'm six foot three. Leg room, the same thing. I have plenty of space. The floor is not completely flat. Cup holders, I would say a 20 ounces max. This is a 16.9 ounce water bottle. It's gonna be soft on both sides for your elbows. On the back, it's gonna be manual sunshades. That is something that, because we're in the five series, I would hope that it would be power, but you know, when you get up the tier, they start giving you more luxuries. You're gonna have the black polish that's covering your air vents, two USB-C ports and a 12 volt, and two storage trays with storage beyond both of the front seats. As for the door panel, harder material on the top, you're gonna get that wood inlays and that sport design with the one touch up and down. The Harman Kardon comes into the rear with storage, I would say at least 
two to three 16.9 ounce water bottles. So it is pretty efficient for having a family, but you know, let's see if I can sit into the center to see if we could actually fit five in this sedan. Sitting into the center, if I sit back a little bit, headroom won't be too much of an issue. I am grazing the headliner leg space. I'm pretty much completely against the front seats in the position I'd be, or I actually move the passenger seat back just a little bit, but still I'm gonna be sharing leg space and shoulder space. As for the butt space, you're not really gonna be sharing too much because the seats are pretty wide and the door panels are a little bit thin, even though they do look chunky from the interior. Just the way the setup is, I would say you could fit three adults my size without too many issues. But at the end of the day, this is a luxury and executive line. So fitting two in the back is gonna be more preferable. You do have enough charging ports. You can feel the air circulate. And you know, if you only fit two, you have so much room back here that you could relax and enjoy a long journey. The zero to 60 numbers on this, comparing it to the Audi or your Genesis is pretty much spot on. It will be maybe a touch quicker than the Audi and you're gonna be saving a substantial amount. The quarter mile is where it's at. It's gonna definitely beat that Genesis. The Genesis will be maybe a 10th of a second quicker, give or take. 248 horsepower, which unfortunately is gonna be a little bit less than both of the rivals. So whenever you're taking that in consideration, it is something to look at, but BMW with the weight distribution, those aerodynamic line structures, they make a small engine that packs a lot of bang for, for its buck at the end of the day. So you will be able to get those zero to 60s, the speed pretty confident. And I mean, it is pretty much exactly what you need for luxury, for sport, and for the comfort. I mean, when you go over any impurities, the suspension is gonna hold itself really well. And that's also another thing that you have to really look at because when you start getting into a sport vehicle, especially these sportier sedans, the ground clearance sometimes is hard to go for speed bumps. You could do that with this vehicle and it's absolutely no issues. As for the impurities, you just kind of glide over it. So it is pretty good with that. We're gonna put it into sport mode so we can really see how well she does. We're gonna put it over so we can play with the dynamics a little bit with the paddle shifter. So we're gonna straight her up just a little bit, stop in the middle of the road and give her some gas. Here we go, guys, 248 horsepower. Now it doesn't necessarily give you a throaty exhaust, but you do go pretty quick. So I do like that because it's kind of one of those fly underneath the radar type vehicles. As for maneuverability, BMW does a great job with their suspension and the way everything is just operating. You can see through everything. Now the eight pillars in the front are a little bit larger, but it doesn't necessarily give you too much of a blind spot. It gives you more of a sporty feel. So this does have the auto start stop function. We're gonna check that turn radius and see what that 257 pound feet of torque looks like. As for the turn radius, you're gonna get about two and a half lanes. We're gonna give it full gas here. Here we go, guys, ready to rock and roll. And that's exactly what happens. Livens up, the navigation moves out so that way you can see everything at a longer distance. And as you get up to speed, it stays fairly quiet. No dual pane windows, again, just to, you know, incorporate that a little bit more because that shows how good the sound dampening is in the BMW line. As for driving it on a long journey, the seats are very comfortable. And even for the elbows, it might be a little bit more sport to ride, but the way you sit in the vehicle stays pretty comfortable. So I do like that. And the heads up display works pretty well just because I have polarized glasses. I can't necessarily see it. And that's like I say in all my reviews, quite normal. Now there is three things I like and three things that I dislike. Is anything more than that? I'd be buying this vehicle. So the three things that I like about it is you get the full blown luxury and you still get the performance behind it. Yes, it's under 250 horsepower, which is probably something that I'm going to say negative. However, you still have the capabilities to get you to a zero to 60 quick and this is a longer vehicle so taking that in consideration i think they did a great job with that the second thing that i like about the vehicle is the comfort bmw just really stresses a good job on keeping the ride comfortable and composed what i mean by that even if you need to do some dynamics you can see the car stays pretty flat almost a 50 50 weight distribution excellent job the last thing that i like about it is you have the upgraded 12.3 inch infotainment and the reason why i say this is when you get into lower trim vehicles or when you start going into like an m 
240i, you can have an 8.8 inch infotainment. And I think it takes a little bit away from the segment because it looks a little bit more luxury plus tech savvy all in the mix. Now we don't have in brakes or anything of that nature. However, to show you the braking, we're gonna try to do some hard braking here in just a few seconds. The lane is a little bit longer than I thought, but you can see the impurities at least, and it is pretty comfortable. As for harder braking, it does a pretty good job. You still will move forward a bit, but it's a little bit more derived for luxury than sport. Now we have it in Eco Pro to see how well it does. And immediately I will note that the pedal is heavier, but when you get to about mid range on it, it livens up and makes it a little bit easier. And it's due to coaching you to get better and optimal gas consumption. Three things that I dislike about the vehicle, under 250 horsepower, it needs to be at least 275 to 300 horsepower. And the only reason why I say that is because BMW stresses performance. Yes, it does an excellent job, but it would be nicer to see that. And I know when you get up to the next levels and the next numbers, like a 550i, or you get into the M5, everything dramatically changes and you still keep a luxury drive. It's gonna be a more stiff suspension. However, it would be nice that the 530i still had at least 275 horsepower. The second thing that I dislike about the vehicle is it's a Sensitec seating. For the price point, I would have liked to see leather upholstery. Again, I understand we're in the lower trim level. It's just would be nice because of that price point. The third thing that I dislike about the vehicle, no 360 degree camera. And the only reason why I'm stressing these facts is when you get into these tier levels, when you're comparing it to the rivals, typically you're right at the same price and you will be getting these luxury amenities. As for the dynamics in comfort, it's gonna be a little bit more boat derived and a little bit more playful. When you put it into sport, it actually gives a little bit, of, nope, it does. It gives some weight to the steering wheel and it actually makes it more dynamic. It takes a few seconds to kick in and that's what I was basically waiting to see. As for the comfort, you're going to have almost the same play as the Eco. So it does a good job with that and I do like the fact that those functionalities actually do work and the fact that the vehicle isn't too long that you can still maneuver this car in and out of traffic if you need to. Giving it a little go right around two and a half to three rpms is really where you start hearing that engine note and i mean it's a great job that they give you the safety features and the fact that you have your blind spot monitoring because even if you look back you can more or less see all the way to the cargo it just helps because you don't have to turn to a full 90 degree i like to thank phil and tomas here at bmw of wesley chapel for giving us this 2022 bmw 530i sedan for our car review if you're already a subscriber thank you for being part of the hawkeye community. If not, click that subscribe button, check out the details, the merchandise, and everything we do here at Hawkeye Rods.